Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KipAdger.com, out here today with a pretty epic first look. I'm pretty excited about all these things that got sent out, some pretty rad stuff, a lot of which will ultimately end up as reviews in the Night Vision series. But this right here, sent out by Night Force, the Attacker 1-8. to It is, I don't know, don't look through it if you're not going to buy one probably because you'll get really, really spoiled. This one to eight on one power, like you may as well just be looking through like a cardboard tube. Incredibly clear. And something that's pretty cool about these two with respect to night vision is on that one power, they actually have a night vision setting so you can shoot passive through it, which lends a lot of flexibility to the optic, being able to use it as a one to eight first focal plane, do a lot of things within the reticle, but at the same time, be able to actually shoot passive through it, which depending on your application, pretty big deal. Also, Unity Tactical sent out this mount right here. It's their 2.05, I think, basically a higher mount. So you don't have to crane your head down real low, trying to shoot passive through it. And pretty excited about that. Then, man, this is pretty cool. So friends over at E.E. Myers, ended up sending this out and probably know what it is if you're familiar with B.E. Myers but if you don't it's a cardboard box but inside this cardboard box oh man cool stickers too is the mall C1 plus so if you're unfamiliar Obviously with most lights, or not lights, but lasers and stuff, they're regulated. So you have ones that are good for sale on the civilian market. Basically limited to like 0.7 milliwatts, which this one is. And then you also have like the military version. And the reason being is because you can burn people's eyes out and there's no blink reflex because it's infrared light. So there's a limitation there, but this is pretty rad. Of course, what are we gonna put this stuff on? Funny you should ask. Let's open this guy up, because this is pretty epic. This right here got sent out by Shooting Surplus. Pretty excited about this one. One, two, three. Knight's Armament SR-25. This one being, I believe their APC, something like that. But, damn, this thing is incredible. Super stoked on this. This is really cool. This is kind of one of those, kind of one of those grail guns. On the one hand, super hard to get a hold of and also just kind of pretty storied with respect to its military service. So behind me, I have the Rune Nation Cold Start. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these goodies onto this gun. One of these days, I'm gonna throw an optic in a mount on a gun, and it's gonna be zeroed. I don't know if today's gonna be that day, but I'm gonna get this stuff thrown on this gun, jam up some mags, We'll get going with this cold start. Behind me is the Rune Nation Cold Start. Two magazines of eight. There's a number of low probability targets, little shapes, and then a big circle in the middle. So, gauge the low probability target, three rounds into the center circle, 
engage another load probability, three rounds in the center circle, conduct reload, repeat that for the other two load probability targets. If you drop any rounds, conduct one more reload and make them up. All right, let's do this live. Pretty sure I failed it, but here you get 30.6. Did not pass it. I don't remember what the part time was, but I'm pretty sure it's something sub 30. Pocket reloads are not my friend. And I will say this has a little more recoil than a 556, but whatever. First round I ended up dropping, or yeah, high. Again, trying to take account for the offset um other three rounds put that one there other three rounds conduct my reload that one other three rounds that one other three rounds and then one last reload came back to make that up a lot of line burners but it's what i got so it's time to go ahead and get this thing zeroed put in some more time with it and as a quick aside unity tactical they have a pretty strong sticker game with some awesome designs. All right, this one is for the minivan militia. The immortal words of Tone Loke. Let's do it. Weird. I don't know what happened, but that's what I got. 26.08. Well, I have this guy zeroed at 100 yards with a offset zero. Also with this at 100 yards with a vis laser. Fortunately, it's slaved to the IR. Not really sure why I didn't feed one of those rounds, but it is what it is. So I just have a mere 13 hours till I can come back out and put in some more time with this under conditions that are kind of more suited to it. To get full effect, had to, of course, come out, spend some more time with this. But before I did, had to basically throw a few more upgrades on here. One of which, or two of which, I guess, being hot buttons for both the mall as well as my Surefire Scout I threw on here. The Surefire Vampire Scout, so I can basically run IR or white light. And yeah, the hot buttons are pretty cool. It allows me to push all of this stuff forward, both the mall as well as this little Scout light. And keeping it forward, I'm able to move the buttons back and then using, I believe it's Emissary Development, their cable clips, able to do a really good job, basically cable management. So keeping snag, hatter, snag hazards out of the way, things like that. Something else I promptly did, as nice as this rifle is, man, the stock like A2 pistol grip, things just hot garbage, can't do it. So threw this one on here, and also this hand stop, both of which are prototypes, buddy of mine did. 
And yeah, also through Edgar Sherman Design Sling on here. So I can not carry this pig all the time. I can let my neck carry some of the weight and came back out here to get after it. This thing, it's pretty impressive. Going through the box and kind of the documentation, I ended up finding the test target. Super impressive. It's like just over half MOA, like five shot group, like 0.5 something at 100 yards. Pretty impressive. So I have zero excuses with respect to this rifle. And then coming back out here, I was like, well, let's, let's do this. So I ended up shooting out to 100, 200, 300, and ultimately 400. Going off of just nominal holds after already having this thing zeroed, I was like, okay, cool. 300 yards should be about 1.2 mils. Basically held inside that reticle at max eight power and got my hits. Same thing at 400, it's like, all right, should be about 2.2 mils, held, broke my shots, got my hits. All of this with like South African surplus ammo that was probably made, I don't know, probably around the time I was born, but really impressed so far with this thing. Moving into low light, I will say the laser on this mall is super impressive and also, it's really nice even being able to just use white light and go ahead and shoot passively. Well, you are emitting because you're using white light, but shooting through the optic as well. Super, super clear, this attacker, one to eight. And yeah, then going into the IR spectrum, the mall is pretty incredible. It really is, the illuminator on it, yeah. I can't wait to actually put in some time and really stretch this thing out at distance. Big picture, I am gonna end up putting more time with all of this. This gun, SR25, thank you again, Shooting Surplus, for sending this thing out, as well as all the goodness from Unity Tactical, both this scope mount, as well as the hot buttons. Obviously the mall from BE Myers, and this attacker, one to eight from Night Force. Pretty amazing setup. So eventually, when I get more time with it, I will definitely bring you reviews on the aforementioned stuff. But in the interim, if you would like to actually shoot this thing, because it is rad, this gun is actually going to be going on the 2021 Coast to Coast Tour. Starting first range day, 20th of June, and ending at our last range day over there in Ohio at Brownells, kind of the finale out there in Iowa. So if you are interested in shooting this awesomeness, probably not at night just because the range days are mostly during the day. But yeah, this gun and all of the accoutrement will be out there for you to come shoot if you would like to. And if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate your support. Whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbadger.com, picking up stickers, KVAT target pads, things like that, or supporting me directly through Patreon. All that stuff helps. And if you have questions for me, happy to answer them. Probably not in the comments section, but over on Patreon, we have a really active Discord. Happy to answer everything over there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. You gotta watch where you go and watch what you do. Gotta watch what you say and who it's said to. You gotta watch who you cross and watch how you move. This one day.